kind of lame. It's entertaining. Like normally an app doesn't like it restricts your imagination, but Bitshoot really it lets you type whatever you want. I think it's very cute. Like you can customize it, you know, make expressions and stuff. Very interesting. I think it's like quite retarded. Uh. I don't know lah. Uh, I just don't use it lah. Uh. And everyone's posting it on Instagram and all. It's like what? <laughs> Download or delete. This new application, which allows users to be their own comic strip heroes, has taken the social media websites such as Facebook by storm. In less than seven months, the Canadian startup went from zero to more than 10 million users worldwide. The users have created some 55 million strips that have been viewed more than 3 billion times. Many Singaporeans have jumped on the bandwagon. About a third, or 8 out of the 25 people Razor TV interviewed, have their own Bitstrips accounts. I find it very stupid. As in, it's just a strip, a comic strip, but maybe I was using it, uh, so I find it very lame. Uh, I think it's a bit lame initially, but then I started using it and it's a bit funny at the same time, yeah. <laughs> I think it's quite interesting actually, yeah. I don't hate it, but there's just too many people spamming it, so it's kind of irritating at Facebook. Too mainstream lah. It annoys me, yeah, because, yeah, I don't know, it's just annoying. You can, and you can like personalise to your own self and you can add like all the features and some really look like themselves. From facial shapes to skin tones, to eyebrows and even eyelashes, this application allows anyone to create an avatar that looks just like themselves. Users can also create avatars for their friends. To make things simple, the team at Bitstrips also produce templates which users can customise into their own stories. And the best part about all this? It's free. Bitstrips is currently the top free application in the US iPhone App Store. Um, I try to create it as close as possible. Yeah. <laughs> To make the picture cuter la, to make our avatar cuter. <laughs> to track it, to make it as real as possible. Reality. Why not? <laughs> because more realistic. Maybe a bit nicer. <laughs> yeah, a bit nicer, a yeah. bit nicer. For Bitstrips fans, the comic strips have replaced their usual Facebook and Instagram updates. Like, funny ones, like they say like, today I'm going to the gym and there's like, they're doing funny stuff in the comic strips, yeah. Funny one lah. Like if like my boyfriend are fighting right, then I'll make one that I like send him so he like laugh ah, so he won't fight. And whatever I'm like currently facing, then I'll just find the situation and post it. And it was just like, like the whole scene like really like exactly the same, so I just post it. So everything is like always so current and the same as the situation. I, I usually have a co-star which is my boyfriend. And then if we are in a fight, then we'll just like have the street fight on that kind of thing. Comics may be timeless, but there's certainly no guarantee that Bitstrips will be. Will Bitstrips go the way other social media fads such as Farmville, Draw Something or Candy Crush? Already, the frustration and backlash has started. Definitely a passing fair. It's not gonna last. I think it will stay. Yeah, of course a lot of people are using it now on Facebook. I can see a lot of people uploading their stuff. It will be just like all popular apps. It will, it will go away some... Someday. All those, all those different designs will be like stagnant and then people will keep posting it the similar cartoon and then the fun will die out. I think it will stay because you can really use it for a lot of stuff. Like people like use it for like humour and humour really stays so. No, actually I think it's a passing fact. I already deleted the app so. <laughs> and that is the last thing the company wants. It is looking at ways to grow its user pool. Bitstrip's chief executive Jacob Blackstock also said earlier this year that the company is looking for investors.